Hey everybody, so I wanted to give an update on what's been going on with me lately. So I've been dealing, especially February, just because of some things that happened, um, you know, just a lot of heartache. Um, and I'm still working, I'll probably always be working through it, right? Um, but just to give an example, we lost our cat, you know, and I've been trying to also just take some self-inventory, see, okay, am I, am I living up to whatever principles I have? And if not, why? And am I just human and all of that? And of course, you know, the answer is, of course you're human. Um, and so really just trying to get myself in a good place where if I make mistakes, then I'm a little bit more forgiving of myself and all of that, and really asking myself hard questions about myself. So I've been doing that, and, you know, it's never fun, you know, but you do need to give the dark side its due and ask yourself, okay, what can I do to do better and to avoid this sort of thing, just as a mature adult. And also just sort of saying, well, sometimes stuff happens, and, you know, you're not always going to be perfect, you're going to make some mistakes. So I've been thinking about that, and also, I've been just, uh, as I mentioned in some previous videos, I've been working with the Arbitel Spirits, and that's been pretty cool. Um, but really, the main thing I realized a couple days ago is, you know, I've been, I've been working through Frater Ocker's book, Holy Heretics, and it's like, there's certain things you're saying, okay, this is sort of like feeling kind of like stepwise, lodge-based, let me... Even though he discourages this, so I'm not going to encourage doing what I do because we're all walking our own path, but that's something that he sort of says at the beginning. But I realized kind of what he was talking about, and I found it I found it very helpful. You know, I'm never going to be... I, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of times where people who present their paths, it's like it's better to show that we're learning from each other than, than not. Um, and sometimes I haven't always seen this very well um, in other magicians, and I'm not, I'm not going to call out anybody, but like, sometimes it's, it, it seems like it's all coming from, like, this person just comes out and they're amazing, but really we're all, we are all learning from each other. So I wanted to make sure to give him a shout out. Anyway, I found his, his book is very, is very workable. It's got, it's, it's heavy on the, uh, a little heavy on the academic side, not terribly so, but you are going to have to like read and reread and think and like most be like Mary in the Bible and, and ponder these things in your heart. So anyway, but I realized sort of like a key that, that is sort of implicit there, but which is basically, I'm not going to spoil it, but basically you're working to, to with these very excellent spirits um, but working to have them work together so that you can more readily, come here Cordelia, that's our cat, um, working to have them work in coordination with each other so that you can be closer to God. Um, and what do I mean by that? Your consciousness is there. We're always close to God. Come here. Yes, meow. Um, and so what I've realized is in doing that, that, that work is that, okay, this is something that I need to do. I need to focus on. And it was sort of my heart sort of, um, getting that pressure on it such that it can become, you know, if you, if you think of like, uh, diamonds are come, they come from pressure and other gems, they come from pressure. And that's something that I felt a lot of, including this cat right here. And what I didn't do was, or what I've been trying to do is trying to focus on like the, the outcome that I want to have happen as a result of that. So I wanted, I wanted that no matter what, my heart to stay soft. And you're going to have to bear with me because I'm making dinner. Um, I wanted my heart to stay soft and yes, I know I moved bad person I moved the cat's upset with me for moving but what I wanted to do is keep my heart soft I know and really work to um 
ensure that, you know, I didn't get a hopeless despair, all of that sort of thing. And that was a good thing. And the, the uh, spirits were very helpful with that. So let me find what I'm doing here. Video on the fly. So what I found was that it, it wound up working and it worked pretty well. And this was already happening a bit yesterday. And tonight it happened even more. So then I wound up scrying the Aether of Lil, which is a regular practice of mine. I also used Freighter Sorath's uh, uh, received hidden call and wasn't quite sure I was getting anything out of it, but I moved, I moved forward with it. Let me make sure this is hot enough. Is the temperature on this? Not quite hot enough. I get an extra time. So anyway, what I realized then is that, okay, I need to, not I need to, what I realized is as I was looking through my phone is like, well, okay, I'm going to make the call to Lil. But what I hadn't done is make the call to Lil with the fourth governor. So for those of you who've been keeping track of my blog, stuff like that, I've been trying to like fill in the gaps, uh, the known gaps in Enochian. And one of those was an additional 30 governors or 30, excuse me, parts of the earth. And because there are 91 and maybe a 92nd, but 91 of those. And, but this 90, but there were apparently supposed to be 30 more. And Edward Kelly's just like, ah, I don't, who cares about that? This is, this is all like in the Ptolemy thing. They're just going on. It's like, yeah, but they're still supposed to be, ah, and he just, just pissed. He moves on. So anyway, um, so I went back and uh, I found um, 31 because um, there was uh, another Aether, the only Aether that's um, seven letters long. And this is just something I did just to see. And it's again, it's for other magicians to try to replicate or not. And but with each of those, I then realized like months later, because this is how it goes. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, I need to get the actual governors for those. <laughs> and the governors being Zodiacal Kings, right? So anyway, for the Aether of Lil, the additional uh, governor's name is Olpajed. So having those two things come together, or maybe three, so we can say Freighter Sorath's call, the additional governor to the Aether of Lil, and then the Arbitel spirits, which I'm literally asking, please work to keep my consciousness close to God and, you know, as much as possible and as permanently as possible for as long a time as possible. Then all of a sudden, I have a much stronger um, experience with the Aether of Lil than I usually do. Okay, it's there. I don't know why it didn't beep. Should have beeped. Should have beeped. So let me just pop this in, not burn my hand, and then close it up. All right. And then how long does this need to go for? Oh, I know. This is such great content. Uh, I need to flip halfway through, full bag. So anyway. <laughs> So this is sort of what, um, this is what happened. So the, the experience was very good. And I think part of the, when I had called all seven Arbitel spirits, one of the things I noticed is like, there's this big raising up in consciousness. And like, it's just, I don't know how else to describe it, but you feel, it's like there's this chain being lifted up and all your, you know, <laughs> chakras are like, you know, being raised up with it. So, so that happened. And also, again, this, this very strong sense of light coming down in, into me. And there was a little bit of a channeling. So I'm going to probably write up a blog post about this. I believe it was like seven letters long or seven words long, but I could be wrong. Um, one of it, again, this word from, um, from Amzesnagas Harda, also known as Liber Loga, that 
this word rustafax or r u s t a f a x came came forward again nine letters long so i went ahead and and did that and it was just all very like i felt very close to the divine and in a way that sort of helped really solidify everything into a, a very nice gem so i'm feeling like way better now <laughs> and um just more more chill and more at peace with the divine and i always do with doing enochian but this time it feels like it's it's gonna stick pretty well so anyway that's what's been going on with me if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments as always and it could be about enochian could be about um working with the um with the uh, Arbitel spirits or whatever. Um, again, this is still relatively new to me, um, but interestingly that there's something in the astrology of my chart that says that first Enochian and then uh, the Arbitel instead of the other way around, because I can tell you for sure the Arbitel is way easier <laughs> than Enochian, but it just was supposed to be like this, so I suppose. So anyway, uh, much love to you all. Um, if you have questions about this or anything else, just uh, just drop them in the comments. I usually try to, I usually get back to them within an hour, <laughs> uh, assuming that it's not sleepy time for me, but definitely within a day. So, uh, and the only other way it could be is if I'm not on my phone. So anyway, love you all and I will talk to you later. Thanks, bye.